What's up, Vulcan Wolf? Enjoying the game, man. Enjoying this game. It's got its flaws, but they're forgivable. We did just kill a boss that was kind of BS. Not, not really BS as much as it was like not very fun. As I'm dodging, I get hit. Love it. Like, if you're not gonna make the entire dodge animation a dodge, then make it shorter, you know? The, 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 I mean, the entirety of Ephemeral Fantasia is a flaw. <laughs> it's like flaw incarnate, you know? No, we didn't beat it yet, but we got super far. Or rather, we got we made a big super step. Uh, we still might, you know, get tr stuck here and there. Uh, we did try to mess around with it a little, little bit deeper and couldn't figure quite what we needed to do. But I would say that uh, we are we are making headway big time, and uh, I predict that we'll beat it this weekend. Or tomorrow, right? Tomorrow, the next day. Not tomorrow. I don't think we'll beat it tomorrow, but I think we'll beat it Tuesday. Because, like, if, if you think about it, we spent, like, six days not actually story. advancing the story at all in any way, shape, or form. But we learned a lot about the game. So we still have to get through the, the game's story that's left. But because we know so much about the game already, it'll be a lot less. Sync comes out tonight? Oh. Uh. uh Noct Artifact Farm. Oh, because, yeah, Noct had his uh, LC come back. What's up, Iron Mog? My son? Dude, you're like 13. What do you mean, your son? Oh, ma'am. <laughs> They start young. They start breeding young in Japan, huh? That's all. <laughs> Just farming green runes for Falcon and Cleary. Whew. Good luck. Yeah, that's a bit of a grind, but it's worth it. Cousin married at 15? I mean, that's fine. Like, whatever. Marry as young as you're legally capable of marrying to. Whatever. Well, this looks a little more different. It's not like hentai is designing a way to get high school girls, school kids having sex and trying to raise, raise birth rate. I don't think that's a thing. 
I think the perversion oh, yeah. of, of animation in Japan s stems from their censorship laws. Yes, their birth rate is declining, and they're trying other things to get that to work. Like, anime is definitely not the method of trying to get people to, to breed. I, I, that seems like the, the least likely reason. I mean, pornography in general is not really designed for people to breed. It's actually, it's actually the opposite. It's designed for people that, for those that can't get a significant other to, you know, do stuff with. Just because they did that doesn't mean that that's the reason. That just means that they, they used a medium that is familiar to people. It's like, it's, 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 it's the Japan equivalent of, hello fellow kids, you know? It's like uh, the Japan equivalent of like, uh, like, like drug, uh, like don't, don't do drugs done to a rap, you know? Hey kids, what's up and happening? Don't do drugs cause they're bad and whack, word. You know, that's essentially the, the equivalent there. But like, so, so the thing is, like, uh, the reason birth rates are declining in Japan is because they value, like, your success in, in, in your job way more than starting a family. Like, if you don't have a good job, then come on, are you serious? Then just, like, forget it, you know? Uh... And so, so kids are spending way too much time studying and preparing for, you know, their eventual adulthood that they're not even concerned with girlfriends. It's not even on their radar, you know? Oh, this is cool. This should be Shield Legion, honestly, not Axe Legion. Yeah, it's not even an axe, and, it, and it's used as a protection. It should be Shield Legion. They also have huge, yeah, that's all part of the same, it's the same thing, it's all, it's all this, that's all part of it. It's all part of the same thing. And then, anime or rather hentai and a lot of other like weird japan sex stuff is because they have weird censorship laws with showing penetration and pubic hair and they're not allowed to do either so because they can't do that there's other means of getting around it that's that's the that's where that all comes from as far as like low low, low birth rates that's like that's separate and then the hentai perversion thing is separate again but using anime as a medium to like, hey, this is how you have sex and make kids is just using a medium that that age group that they're trying to target is familiar with and understands. Also, anime is anime or animation in general is a lot more prevalent in Japan. Like you'll see a lot of ads with like anime characters. Like for instance, me, um, who was it? Uh, Super Sonic, so so uh, Sonica or whoever it is. She was like just to sell like stereos or headphones or whatever, just a, a girl to brand for for the brand, and that, that's an anime girl and became super popular, and ended up spawning an anime TV show, if I'm not mistaken.
Supersonic, oh yeah. I'm not sure if Miku is related to that old deal, but that's where all that, that's where, like that, like, uh, who was the character that I was seeing all over the place? I would see it, I would see a character, oh, Hello Kitty. Uh, I, I saw a billboard, not really a billboard, more like an advert, like, like, uh, talking about, like, safe sex and stuff, like, you know, don't spread AIDS and whatever, and it was Hello Kitty. You know, Hello Kitty's like, hey, don't spread AIDS. That was the, that was like, it was like in the subway or the, the, the train station or whatever. So, uh, like that, that, like that's common, you know, to see that, that mean that those, that way of like advertising to the, to the general public or whatever. Oops, I just used the potion. And you'll just see, you know, companies using an anime character as their as their, uh, not really spokesperson, but like their character of choice, you know, their little uh, mascot. That's what I'm looking for. So it's a, it's a, it's a format that is widely understood for every, by everybody. It's kind of like if GI Joe characters came on screen and were like, "Hey, kids, don't spread AIDS." You know, same deal. It's like we, they, they, anime or the anime format that we call anime, which is really literally just means animation is what kids programming is made with. But there, it's not like you can't make adult programming with the anime, uh, Japanese animation style format. Like look at Heavy Metal. Heavy Metal is American animation, but it's very adult, it's very adult oriented. Information it's just that, you know, if you think of Saturday morning cartoons for Japan, it's anime style. We think of it as adult swim. They gave up condoms to Sailor Moon? <laughs> Seriously? Wow, that's awkward. Hey, here's these condoms based on 14-year-old girls. Have fun, Japan. Awkward. Well, I was talking, I'm, I'm catching up on chat now. Well, also made say it was, oh my God, don't, don't talk about that anymore. Prevents the burn. Oh my god. <laughs> Iris, Please, dude. Our post is up ahead. Once we take point there, we won't be able to head back to HQ for a while. You ready? Ready as I've ever been. Let's go. Okay. Evil brother go. Chan. No. You listen to my voice. Soon, very soon. Uh -huh. I will bring you justice. I, it's what I'll pass on. <laughs> I will open the gates to our true future. Yeah, we did. We talked about it last stream, actually. Abandon fear, and you will know true peace. No, you'll know two Reese's pieces. Over there, Jenna. She was in a room and now she's oh, recording probably. How foolish. I'm talking at room temperature, you temperature, volume. Bleeding. And All you're like 100 yards away. Straight to damnation. Straight to damnation? You're the terrorist here. You don't understand. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used. By those idiots until you die. Ah, she's not Get even that chesty. Fate, powerless. She's normal chesty, you know, like believable chesty. One of the things I hate about anime aesthetics is that it's like if a woman is womanly and, and mature, she's always chesty. And it's like, really? You have to have big boobs in order to be a woman? Come on. Definitely can't walk over that. Uh, 
Oh, I agree, Chrono. It's, it's definitely, like, she's definitely a very chesty woman. I'm just saying, like, by anime terms, it's not even that bad. Freaking Marie is chestier than she is. Oh, hey, another one. Eternal 2, but we don't lean on them to, to give uh, the audience an example of what we're trying to portray literally every single time. But anime does literally every single time. Didn't dodge that? Wow. Okay, so getting hit by one makes you get hit by all. That's cool, too. Oh, you can't block that. Perfect dodge that in order to get out of it. Come on. What is he standing on? Nice roll, or slide, or whatever that prevented me from getting any damage on the head. Not sure what causes that. Oh, 
Still S plus, nice. Three rare material code. No, no, that's not perfect. I thought that was perfect. Still S plus, I thought I did that terribly though. I'll take it. And then smash into the ceiling, you're dead. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, it must have been a gate or something. They didn't show me that it was going into a gate. It's kind of sudden. Premium, that's what I meant. Yeah, premium. I thought it was premium at first, but it was just rare. Hey, can you hear me? Nope. I followed Jenna through a gate. Well, I followed Jenna through a here? gate, but what are you doing? Either way, you've got good timing. Yeah, I followed Jenna through a gate. From over where you are, right? It's another homunculus. Looks like it's not ready to hatch yet, but it's still absorbing chimeras. I guess Jenna figured it'd be easier to feed if it was closer to the food. Look at the size of that thing. She's obviously got big plans for it. A homunculus that big could be unstoppable. Let's crack that egg before it's too late. So we learned earlier that like this place that we're in is, is literally too big to even throw like make a dent in that it's like infinitely big. Like we it's like, you know, the unit the size of the universe essentially. Im impossible to actually fathom from a human perspective. And it's like, I don't see how, how we're even supposed to make a dent in, 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 you know, saving our world when it's like literally impossible to even make a, a dent. I wonder if I could, uh... Haha, <laughs> get regnard. Yeah, the infinite archives, essentially, right? Yeah. So, I already compared this game to Evangelion, like, three times. It's, it's pretty much, like, as far as story goes... Well, not really story, per se, but, like the presentation of that story it's almost exactly evangelion you know like the the evas are my legions they're almost the, they're the same thing too because they're made from the the dimension thingies like you couldn't get more like parallels to evangelion if you tried but even then like even if you didn't uh anime in general has a lot of repeated storytelling anyway you know you replace evangelion or eva with some other superpower you know you replace the invaders with whatever invaders from another or enemies from another anime it's like it's, it's all it's like this it's with this with this particular style like this particular sort of presentation it's main character she may have has power power probably related like to the invaders in some way behind. so be careful like uh i have the power you know of the demon but i have to use that power to fight the demons you know kind of thing it's it's very very similar to a lot of other oh cool <laughs> a lot of other uh, styles of like storytelling in anime with this sort of like uh pres like this style this sort of story you know there's different stories that are told in anime but this is just one of the common ones you know when it comes to fighting something you know like fighting some kind of invader My cursed arm, dark passenger, yeah.
Where was the one? I saw one down there. Where did it go? Literally, dude is a demon, works for the exorcist to fight demons, yeah. And you, Yasha, there's another great example. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's very, very common storytelling for anime and, and that. It's just. You know, you don't play this game for the story. You really don't. It's cool. It's like I, I'm enjoying the storytelling just because it's kind of cool, you know? But, like, you're not going to get a deep, rich storytelling experience from this game. These small fries aren't going to stop showing up. Until we do something about that egg. Oh, congrats, Shenzong. How would you rate it overall, man? Comfy out of 10? Really? I wouldn't call this a comfy game. <laughs> I wouldn't call this a comfy game, but I would definitely uh, say... You know, it's... Oh, hold on. There you go. Go forward. It's, it's a lot of fun, a hell of a lot of fun. I, I, I don't know, maybe I like perception, right? I, I think of comfy, I think of like, like DQ builders, you know, is comfy. Cause you just, you just snuggling into a chill time. This is like some fast paced freaking anime action, you know? <laughs> Anime boobs not big enough. Well, you got Marie, dude. You got Marie for that. Your hands aren't paid up to playing it. A lot of people were actually complaining about hand pain while playing this, because this just it requires like so much. What difficult did you play on? Casual, maybe, may, doesn't it auto combo for some of the stuff and maybe that might be why. That is fine, there's nothing wrong with playing casual. I'm playing uh, standard and there's definitely been parts where my hands uh, have been a little little rough, not super sore, but yeah. Casual doesn't auto combo. What does? What's the difference between casual and standard then? I forgot what I'd do with this. 